And the tornado killed seven children inside Plaza Towers Elementary School. But miraculously, several students were pulled out alive. And we talked to one survivor and her mother. Where did the teacher tell you to take shelter? Hallway. Were you kneeling down? Yeah, I was on my knees like that. From her hospital bed, eight-year-old Courtney Brown recalled the moment the warning sirens first sounded. The doors kept on opening, shutting, opening, and shutting by themselves. Because of the wind? Yeah. And there was like this kind of looks like a twister, and it was carrying the ceiling up. Um, you up. saw that? Yeah. And it was like that. The tornado took direct aim at Plaza Towers Elementary as Courtney and her second grade class huddled in a hallway. So you think something may have hit you in the back of the head? I don't know what it was. I didn't know I was hurt, but everybody else told me, so I went into an ambulance, and here I am. Were you scared? Mm-hmm. What were you thinking? About my mom. What were you thinking about your mom? I missed her. Nope, she was okay. Courtney's mom, Raquel, was at work at the time. Did you think she was dead? I, I did. Um, the first I'd heard about the school, my mom had called and told me that it was demolished. There was nothing left. And she said, I don't know how they could have survived. And so. The whole time I'm trying to get home from work to get to the school, I'm hysterically crying. When Raquel arrived, she quickly reunited with her 11-year-old twin boys, but couldn't find her 8-year-old daughter. Luckily, her teacher was there. Um, and she came to me and she said, um, Courtney went to the hospital. She's okay. She was bleeding, but she's okay. It was just this year Courtney and her brothers posed for this photo on the first day of school. Now, all that's left of the building is a pile of mangled debris. You know what happened to your school? It turned into crumbles. Yeah, it did turn into crumbles. How do you feel about that? Sad. The family's home was also destroyed. Still, Courtney's mom considers herself lucky. You lost your house, too? Yeah. But, yeah, you know, I, I wasn't really worried about my house. I, my biggest worry, and I'm still not worried about my house. My biggest worry was my children. So as long as they were okay, I'm, I'm good. I can replace everything else. And you hear mom Raquel say, of course, the most important thing is that her children are alive and her family is safe. And in fact, Courtney could be released from the hospital today.